Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James here today with your daily GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. And today we're going to be talking about GTA Online server maintenance that recently just happened, along with Rockstar's future plans for cheaters that they released in a public statement today. Now if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like, and also if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content. Now yesterday night, Rockstar Games shut down the GTA Online servers for maintenance. All their admins went on there and they worked out clearing and reverting all of the modded, and as they call it, counterfeit money in GTA Online. The servers were shut down at 9 p.m. Eastern last night and they claimed that they would be down for up to 24 hours. They were not. They're back up and going right now, supposedly. I've heard people get on. I still actually can't get on though, but what matters is they have reverted all the money. Anybody who has modded money, given out modded money, or had loads of modded money in their bank, that money is now down and your bank is at zero. Rockstar essentially went through and had a system to filter out all the counterfeit money and got rid of it. That's what their main post was yesterday on their website. Now Rockstar also posted up a new post today called Taking an Aim on Cheaters. It's a somewhat lengthy post for the Rockstar blog, but it essentially acknowledges all the DNS mods and cheats that have been going on recently in the servers, and they mention that they do not support that whatsoever. The post goes on to say that people who received the money, they got the money taken away from them, they now have a bank account of zero or whatever it was before the money was received. Most likely zero though, there will be no more action taken against them, but for the people that were giving out modded money and can be traced back to those DNS lobbies, they should be uh, on high alert because Rockstar is planning on putting them in cheater pools and even potentially banning them from GTA Online. They also mentioned that all these DNS mods and hacks are their current main center of focus for working in GTA Online right now to get everything back to normal. And also, if you see somebody in the game, make sure to report them via the in-game feature that is hacking or modding. That's really all they went down to do. Like I said, I'll have the post linked in the description, but the money is now officially gone. The hack money is officially gone and hopefully gone for good. And along with that money that's gone, once they finish up closing up all those loose ends for the mods and hacks, you can expect to see heists coming soon. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. And also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content. I'm on the road to 300,000 subscribers. Also, last but not least, make sure to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook. I do exclusive giveaways and stuff there, so make sure to check those out. That's really about it, and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.